out of the box. It's Goff stealing at center, crossing the line. Tried to stick handle, lost it for a moment. Got a back shot and a save. Rebound. Harms scores. Brandon Harms picked up the rebound of the Goff shot. The Hawks get caught with the force making a play to the man coming out of the box. And Brandon Harms, who's been quiet throughout the series, opens the scoring. It's a high slot. Then for Fleming, a one-timer blocked by Lapp, and Fleming gets it back. For Bayreuther with a lane to the net. Takes a shot and tipped, and Fargo scores. It looked like it was off a stick after it got to the front of the net. And batted in the Fargo Force score on the power play to make it a 2-0 lead. That one definitely changed directions. In left wing corner centering for Friedman. High slotted drive. Wide off the end boards. Picked up from the scores and scores! Here come the Hawks! Friedman put it wide in the net. Jensen was playing the post at his left. The puck came out on the other side and Hinostrosa steps it in for his first postseason goal in the USHL. Here come the Hawks just after the power play ended. It's 2-1. Here from Bayreuther. Now moves to the wall himself, drops it back. Friedman to the side of it. Hinostrosa scores! Here come the Hawks! Everybody forget about Vince Hinostrosa in the left wing corner except for Mark Friedman who gets it to him again for his second goal in less over the line for Hinnestrosa, has two in the game. Here gives it to Friedman with a wrist shot. He scores! Here come the Hawks! Mark Friedman's shot looks like it may have been tipped off a of Fargo stick. It goes up over the glove of Brendan Jensen, and the Hawks take the lead on the power play. Limited into the major power play. The Hawks have converted already. Now the Force with the steal. It's brought into the Waterloo zone. I'll follow in front. Here's a back and a save on Nelson by Peterson in the Force score. Peterson made the initial save with his left skate. And the puck knocked over the goal line by shoot at the center dust. Two on two. Crisscrossing with Gertler. Into the high slot. On his forehand. He tries a shot and his rebound comes free after the puck was tipped. The fourth score. Ortega puts it in as Gust at the last second decided to try and drop it into the slot. Or perhaps it was a shot that was off a stick. But the four on the brakes. Slips it to the side of the net. Staying line. Now into the ring at the dot. Back to five on five for Lighting. a shot. He scores! Here come the Hawks, the puck was kept, it still got the lining up, and from the left side he put it by Jensen, who was at the post to his left, expecting the puck to come from another direction. Chris Leidinger did not score a goal during the regular season as a member of the Waterloo Black. Tanonato, Papa gets it back, moves to the right dot, then back to the left point, Leidinger. Here comes a wrist shot, off the glove of Jensen, free, oh, back in by Stangler, now Papa scores! Here come the Hawks, Ryan Papa, the rebound, the goal! And the lead for Waterloo at 1343 of the third. Shot saved by Peterson. Rebound free. Jab towards the line. Papa sweeps it off to Hinnestrosa. He has nothing but the open net in front of him. He scores! 